if you tell them how much cash down you're giving or what you want your monthly payment to be um, or even what you want for your trade-in, you're doomed, okay? Five questions you should never answer when you're buying a car. Number one, Mr. Shevsky, I'm so excited that you're interested in that Toyota RAV4. I need to know, what's your monthly payment goal? Where do you want to be on that monthly payment? Well, you know, not a problem, Zach, but uh, truth be told, um, what I'm really interested in is what is the out-the-door price of that vehicle? Um, once we establish that, then, hey, be more than happy to work with you on the other. Out the out the door, but you. I mean, everyone has a monthly budget. I mean, even Bill Gates and Warren Buffett have a monthly budget. Don't you have a monthly number you're trying to meet? Um, what I what I'm trying to meet is the best out the door number that I can get for that vehicle. I want to know. Let's just suppose for a second that I was going to write a check for the vehicle. I'm not saying I am. I'm not saying I'm not. But if if I wanted to, I want to know what that check needs to be. So I need to know the total price of the vehicle, including all taxes, fees, rebates, everything. What that check is, I would need to write. So I need the out-the-door number first. All right, let me go talk to my manager. Not a problem. All right, Mr. Shevska, I know you're in love with that RAV4. I need to know, my manager's asking for it. How much cash down are you going to put when uh, when we get to, you know, penciling the numbers here? How much cash down? Well, uh, you know, I haven't determined exactly how much cash down I'm, I'm going to put. Um, you know, uh, that was something I would be more than willing to discuss with the finance manager. Um, what what difference does it make how much I want to put down? So, so you you have thought about putting some money down, right? Like maybe a thousand, two thousand. You know, banks nowadays they really look for participation from from borrowers, and I guess that actually even leads me to my other question, Mr. Shevska. Do you plan to finance this purchase? Are you thinking about leasing the vehicle? You mentioned writing a check earlier. You're going to write a check for it. So, so help me understand. Uh, well, I I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to pay for it. I I think I've taken leasing off the table. Uh, I very well might be willing to finance it if the terms are agreeable. You know, once we agree on the out the door number, then I would be more than happy if you if you have the ability to, to discuss those payments with me. All right, Mr. Shevska, I understand it. You're really fixated on that out the door price. You're not going to tell me how you're purchasing the vehicle. You're not going to tell me the cash down. I get it. I absolutely get it. But my manager makes me ask this question to every single customer. I need to know. I saw you drove in here in that old Toyota. Is that your trade in? You traded in a vehicle? Uh, you know, I haven't decided if I'm trading in it or not. My uh, my neighbor's daughter just graduating from high school and i don't know they've had that their eye on that car for the longest period of time so i might talk to bill and see if he wants to get that for his daughter but hey the if it could help me the possibility exists that maybe i would so i you know if bill decides it's not the right car for his for his daughter which I, i'm pretty sure he won't but if he did um you know, we just need to treat the trade as a completely separate transaction. You need to do a good job of selling me your car. And then, well, it's up to me to do an even better job of selling you mine. Wow. OK. All right. I mean, you know, there is a sales tax basis benefit if you do have a trade in. But I guess we can cross that bridge when we get there. I, I hear you loud and clear. I got to sell you my car. You're going to sell me your car, potentially, if Bill's daughter doesn't want it. I, I heard you right. OK, thank you. Not not a problem. Just, just so we're on the same page, you, you know, I I want to buy something, and apparently you have an interest in buying something of mine. All right, you are a tough negotiator, Ray, but thank you for getting this deal done. I need to show you now, most customers here at Gotcha Toyota, they end up purchasing our Platinum plan, okay? Our Platinum plan is only about 50 extra dollars a month, and it gives you an extended warranty, takes care of maintenance, it's got paint and fabric protection as well, and like I said, it's just 50 extra dollars a month. All you gotta do is initial right here, and we'll get you set up with the Platinum plan for your new RAV4. Ooh, Platinum, I like Platinum. Platinum's nice, gold's nice, bronze could even be nice. Nice. But what I need to know, what I need to know, Zach, is what's the actual cost of each one of those items that will make up the platinum plan? Perhaps maybe I only want an extended warranty. How much is the extended warranty? Or if maybe I only want the paint and, and fabric protection. How much is just that? And I don't mean how much does it add to the payment. How much are you charging me for each one of those items? All right, here's the deal, Ray. I'll tell you, I can get it at $45 a month. Would you like to move forward at $45 a month for the Platinum Plan? I hear you, but I can get you that discount. You in? Uh well, you still haven't told me the price of each individual item. So uh, until you do, I guess I'm not. Um, you know, if, it, it, it's that old saying, uh, um, Zach, if, if you scratch my back, perhaps I'll scratch yours, but you ain't scratching nothing yet.
Pops, there's a major issue out there. There are all sorts of people brokering your data and anyone can buy it, whether it's your social security number, your home address, what school you went to, all that information and so much more is being sold online to marketers and scammers. That's bad. Absolutely. And the way to prevent that is to use Delete Me. Delete Me will help take your information away from all those brokers so that they can't sell it to the scammers out there. Look at you, Pops. You sound like a Delete Me user yourself. I know I use Delete Me and hundreds of my records have been scraped off of the internet, getting that information out of the hands of those scammers, marketers, and everything in between. We have a special offer for our Car Edge community, 20% off when you sign up with the link joindeleteme.com slash CarEdge. Top of the description will be that link, Dad. We both use Delete Me. We enjoy using Delete Me. I like the monthly reports that show me all my data being removed from the internet. We thank Delete Me for sponsoring our channel. One day, you might not even see me here. <laughs> All right, there you go, folks. Those are five questions dealers are going to ask you when you go to buy a car here at the end of 2024. Heck, if you're watching this in 2025, it's all the same. Dad, we have a cheat sheet, 100% free, caredge.com slash cheat sheets. It shows you when the dealer says this, you say that. But let's do a little bit of post-game analysis. Dad, the first question that I asked was around monthly payment. Yes. And you did a great job deflecting back over to OTD. Help us understand why, as a customer, you don't answer the monthly payment question and you focus on out the door instead. Well, you need to know what you're actually paying paying for the vehicle. If all you're focused on is a monthly payment, then the numbers can be manipulated either through term, cash down payment, or whatever, even interest rate in order to get you to a desired monthly payment. And so before you go into the dealership, you need to know what the total dollar amount can be that will fit into your monthly budget because you've done your due diligence. You've gotten pre-approved somewhere before you go in. I hear you. I don't want to confuse our audience because you just mentioned monthly yeah. budget and we're talking about out the door price. You can work an out the door price back into a monthly budget. We have calculators back on caredge.com that can help you do that. I would just leave the word monthly out of your vocabulary when you go into a dealership, Dad. You're focused on an out the door price because it's the only apples to apples comparison you can take from dealership to dealership. We preach this all the time. The best way to get the best deal is you got to get multiple dealers competing to give you their best out the door price. We've done videos where we've emailed 100 Ford and 100 Toyota dealers asking them for OTD and the price variation can be huge. So you just, you need an apples to apples comparison and that's why you focus on OTD. And then yes, like, you know, plug it into a auto loan calculator and you can work backwards. Those other variables that you mentioned, Dad, that can be manipulated, those were the other three questions before the platinum plan question that I was hitting you with. How are you gonna pay for the vehicle? Were you gonna put money down? And do you have a trade-in? Those are all variables that can be manipulated to get you into a payment that, you know, if you had said, okay, I need to be at $400 a month, Next thing you know, and I'm not kidding, next thing you know, you're in a 96 month auto loan, your trade in got stolen from you and you had to put $5,000 in cash down. Like that, th those are the reasons why you don't answer those other questions either. And you focus just on the OTD. Absolutely. You know, I, apparently I've done pretty well in training you over the years uh, because you hit, you hit the nail on the head on every one of those. If you tell them how much cash down you're giving or what you want your monthly payment to be, um, or even what you want for your trade in, you're doomed. OK, certain things have to be played close to the vest. Those are the type of things that you play close to the vest, because as you said it, the only way to get an apples to apples comparison on any vehicles that you're looking at is based on an out the door number, including all taxes and fees. So, you know what you're actually paying for the vehicle. All right. And then the final question not to answer, Dad, is, you know, the inevitable. Do you want to just increase your monthly payment by 50 bucks a month for these ambiguous products that are going to give you platinum protection? That I, I, it sounds crazy, folks. It absolutely sounds crazy. But that is how a lot of what are called F&I finance and insurance products are sold. And you deflected immediately and asked a question back to me, which was, what are these products and how much do they actually cost? And typically the, the finance person is going to say the majority of our customers choose to take the platinum plan. Um, maybe you will, I don't know, but you're not going to unless you know what you're being asked to pay for each one of the items that constitutes the platinum plan. And trust me, 
every one of those items is marked up dramatically, which indicates and means that you're, you have a great amount of room for negotiation on those items. If you're looking to get the best car deal, look no further than caredge.com. Five years we've been doing this, folks. Be educated, be empowered, be informed. Go ahead and get a good deal. Dad, thanks so much as always. My pleasure, handsome. 